On August 21st, there were reports of a chemical attack on the Ghouta region of Syria. A huge number of videos began flooding in, showing horrific scenes at a makeshift hospital on the outskirts of Damascus. Videos showed people convulsing, having difficulty breathing and running noses, all of which are initial symptoms of exposure to the nerve agent, sarin. Two pro-opposition groups immediately began to suspect the government was responsible for the chemical attack. President Assad's regime, however, flatly denied any involvement claiming reports were unfounded. Following the attack, the UN called for weapons inspectors to investigate further. However, the team's efforts were briefly delayed by snipers, but it is unknown who was doing the shooting. Whilst the inspectors were still trying to reach the affected towns, the Syrian military planes bombed the area. The disasters in Syria have echoed their way across the globe and the issues are likewise prevalent in Manchester. The Salford Law Society invited all students and staff to a debate on the Syrian conflict to discuss the rights and wrongs of military intervention. Guest speakers included Dr Mohamed Tamo, a representative of the Syrian community in the UK, and Mr Peter Tatchell, a world-renowned human rights and anti-war campaigner. Mr Tatchell caught up with us to share some of his thoughts on the debate. I think the importance of today's debate was to hear a range of opinions and ideas about what is happening in Syria today, uh, what the history is, the causes, and how we might move towards a de-escalation of the conflict and eventually some lasting solution where the people of Syria will have the right to live under a democracy where the human rights of all Syrian citizens will be respected. Dr Mohamed Tamo belongs to a political family. He tells me how his eldest brother was involved in politics in Syria and how he later came to be assassinated at the hands of the regime. He was the only person who agreed to declare his name publicly as a member of uh, this national, Syrian National Council or the member of the leader for these councils. Um, that was on the 2nd of October 2011, five days afterwards. He was killed, assassinated by uh, four masked people who's entered his, uh, let's say, his place. He, he was hiding because there was a first of trial of assassination in September. So who wasn't, he wasn't actually in his place, in his home. But they knew uh, his whereabout and they, uh, I guess, followed him. The quarrel over whether or not military intervention should occur still very much remains. The debate, however, gave all who attended an insight into the future of Syria and the importance of moving away from this state of hypocrisy, war and oppression. This is Sophie Dulson, reporting for Keys TV News.